Hey there, it's Jess Blanche here, EFT practitioner and coach, and today we're going to be talking about limiting beliefs and how to change them. So first, what is a limiting belief? You may have heard this term or the term upper limit or limiting story, and they're all a little bit different, so let's dive into that. A limiting belief, it really is just that. It's a belief that you have, typically about yourself or about the world around you, that is limiting you in some way. It is not serving you in becoming the person you wanna be and doing the things that you wanna do in life. A limiting story is gonna be something similar to a belief, but it's more of an experience that happened that we're afraid is gonna repeat. So a limiting story, for example, would be in high school, I got on stage and sang and people laughed at me. So now because that happened, you're creating the story that that's gonna happen again. Now an upper limit, which I get from Gay Hendricks' book, The Big Leap, it's a little bit different and it's more about comfort level. So in order to grow and to get ahead in life, you need to stretch yourself and get out of your comfort zone. And when you do that and you see higher levels of success or more income coming in, or let's say that you have more happiness or fulfillment in your work or in your life, or let's say you have a really beautiful, loving relationship for the first time in your life. All of these things are going to be new and different to you. So because they're new, they're going to be uncomfortable. And that discomfort isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just uncomfortable because it's an unknown. It's unfamiliar. So we have what's called an upper limit, an upper limit of how good we can feel, an upper limit of how much love we can be comfortable receiving or how much money we feel comfortable having. And once we hit that upper limit or glass ceiling, you could call it, we get uncomfortable and we can do things to self-sabotage that. That could be a whole other YouTube video. So let's just focus on limiting beliefs for today. So step one of changing your limiting beliefs is having awareness. Awareness is like the biggest piece of this puzzle. If you don't know what you need to change, you can't change it, right? So know exactly what belief it is that's holding you back that you are ready to rewrite. Step two is knowing the root cause. But I will say you don't always have to know what the root cause is to change your belief. It is very helpful, especially in tapping, if you get to that root and know exactly where that limiting belief stemmed from, when it started, and you can really do the healing work around that to let it go and move forward. But if you don't know the root cause of a belief, don't let that be an excuse to keep you from making change. Now in step three of changing your limiting beliefs, you're gonna have to get really honest with yourself and ask yourself, what value am I placing in holding on to this limiting belief? We're not gonna do anything or think anything unless it is serving us somehow. So you really have to get clear on how your ego thinks, how your subconscious thinks that, that keeping this belief around is serving you or somehow keeping you safe. And be careful with this because your ego is not always right. Your ego, a lot of the time, is not always right. So when you know that your ego is just scared and is trying to keep you safe by holding onto this belief, you can shine light on that and you can take your power back and you can think of a belief that you would like to replace that limiting belief with, something that's more empowering, that's gonna help you become who you wanna be and get to where you wanna be in life. If you're not quite sure what that new belief would be to replace the old one, ask yourself, what would I rather believe? What would feel better to think? What you want to believe, that's your truth. Now the next step is to get really clear on how taking on this new belief is going to change your life for the better and start to place more value on the change than you're placing on staying where you're at. The next step to changing your limiting belief, I have no idea what step we're on now, <laughs> is gonna be creating 
a new neural pathway. A neural pathway is just like a thought habit. You can think about it that way. It's a thought that we keep repeating and it sort of created this little roadmap in our brain of how our thoughts automatically go. Now, to create a new neural pathway or to reroute that belief onto a new road that's really gonna help you much better, you have to make it a habit. So take this new belief that you're wanting to take on and repetitively reinforce it to yourself. So this can look like the awareness. Every time you notice that old limiting belief pop up, stop yourself and instantly tell yourself, reinforce that new belief. You can also do things like write sticky notes and put them all over your house. You can hang out with people that have those beliefs that you're wanting to take on. You can read books, listen to podcasts, get really immersed into your self-improvement journey, your personal growth, and fill your mind with things that reinforce how you're wanting to think that will help you create these new neural pathways. So you may have tried affirmations in the past and they haven't worked and this is why they haven't worked. Sometimes affirmations feel like a lie, right? If you feel one way and you tell yourself something completely different, it's like you're lying to yourself. So it just doesn't sink in. So that's why when you have a very sticky limiting belief, I love saying phrases like, I'm willing to believe. I believe it's possible to. And that sort of works your way up to this new belief. And then obviously, of course, the best way I found to rewrite limiting beliefs is through tapping through EFT. And that's because not only do you need to rewire your mind when you're rewiring your beliefs, but your emotions get stored in your body. And that's why it's so important to do energy work along with your mindset work. And that's why EFT works so well and so quickly for rewriting beliefs because you're simultaneously doing the mindset and the energetic body work at the same time. So that's my quick and dirty way of changing a limiting belief. If you have any questions, just drop a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you again on Tuesday for your next tapping video. Bye.